It's easy to make a drawing of the Grinch if you take it one step at a time. My name's Kathy and I've been teaching kids how to draw for more than 20 years. Just follow along with me and you'll have a drawing like this in no time. I'm starting my drawing on paper with guidelines added. I found they really do help. Step number one. To begin, we need to draw a cheek with a shape like this. Make dots on your paper to help you plan and then connect them with a curve like I'm doing here. Afterwards, measure to make a dot on the left side match the right and draw the left cheek. It will kind of look like the bottom of a heart. Next come the sides of the head. Just two little lines above the cheeks will do the job. Step number two. Now we need to add this kind of cloud shape that is the bottom of the Grinch's hat. Start with lots of little scallop lines across the forehead Go up and then back to where you started. Step number three. The hat comes next and I like to start with two short lines like this. Then you can see that the left line goes up, makes a round top, and then comes back down. Now add a line like that to your drawing. To make the hat look like it's folded over, you just need to finish it off with a line like this. Now the hat can be completed with a fuzzy ball shape at the end. Mine has some kind of pointy curves on it. Step number four. The Grinch has a very skinny neck, so add one under his head and start the fuzzy collar shape with a scalloped line like this. Step number five. Now make another scallop line all the way around the neck like you see on my sample. When you're done with that line, the collar will be all finished. Add two simple lines then for his shoulders. Step number six. The Grinch's eyes are made of several shapes, but all of them are pretty simple. Let's start with the angry eyebrows and then place circles underneath. These are symmetrical shapes, so the left side then needs to be a flipped version of the right side. Step number seven. To finish the eyes, we need a little cheek curve line and then the outside curves of the eye. Watch me draw one on the right side and then a matching version on the left side. The last touch for the eyes are some wrinkle lines to make him look extra angry. Then add a small nose that looks like the kind cats have. Step number eight. Now it's time to draw that famous smile. Notice that it does match the shape of his cheeks. All that's left now are a few fur lines that get added to the sides of the Grinch's head. I'm gonna draw about three on the right side and then three on the left side. Step number nine. All right, this Grinch drawing is done. So it's time to trace all of those pencil lines with a black marker. I like to erase the pencil lines before I start to color. It's harder to get rid of them once you start coloring with crayons. The black shapes, which are the eyebrows and the inside of the eye, look great when they are filled in with the black marker. It will make them really dark. Now let's get on to all that green color. Try to find a yellowish green to make your drawing look the most like the Grinch does in the movie. To finish the eyes, fill the larger shape with a bright yellow. And the hat and shirt, of course, need to be red. Do try to press hard to get your brightest color. And finally, the background. I'm going to go with this medium shade of blue. Now, here's an extra trick that you can try out. If you'd like to make a snowy background for your Grinch, you need to first draw lots of circles with your blue crayon. Make them about the size of a pea and spread them all over your paper. Then all that's needed is some careful coloring around those blue circles. It does help to work neatly here so those little shapes stay nice and round. That's what's going to make them look like little snowflakes. Here's another option for those that would like to add an extra touch to their Grinch drawing. Take a darker green crayon and add some color on the right side of the head and the neck for a shadow. I'm showing how to start that process here. You need to finish and continue up the side of the head if you want to do that. And finally, if you'd like to add a shadow to the white shapes in the drawing, 
a light gray crayon does this job really well. I'm imagining that a little light is coming from the left, so all of the shadows would generally be on the right side of the Grinch. If you do start making these on the hat, it's good to add some to the ball and collar too. And there is my finished Grinch drawing. I hope yours also turned out just the way you wanted too. My name's Kathy, and I'm happy to say that over the past 20 years, my website, Art Projects for Kids, has helped millions of kids learn how to draw, where you can find over 700 step-by-step -step drawing lessons. They include how to draw a snowman and how to draw a Christmas tree. Thanks for stopping by, and I hope you keep on drawing.